All right, all right, my lovely viewers. Welcome to Frank Teaches DevOps. Yeah, guys. So today, um, we will be looking at automating code commit and code build with the help of AWS Event Bridge. Yeah, you you heard me right, right. So for the past two days, uh, we've dropped two different videos on code commits and um, code build. And um, if you've not watched those videos, guys, you're still sitting on the fence, man. You are still sitting on the fence. You need to go and rush and watch the video. As you watch, please, my guys, please subscribe. Subscribe to our channel, all right? This is the only way you get us motivated. Okay, so um, let me just show us quickly. Uh, let me go to my channel, view channel. Please forget about these things that are happening. Um, let's look at code commits. Code commits. If you've not watched this video, where is it? AWS code commits, you better go and watch it. You better go and watch it. And if you've not watched code build, you better as well go and watch it uh because we saw how we integrated we, we brought good commits and code build together we saw the handshake all right between good commits and code build so we are still going to see the handshake today in this video between good commits and code build but in this today's video we are going to be introducing a new service called aws event bridge all right so with event bridge i'll be able to create a rule an event rule a rule that is going to trigger a build all right so i'll be automating the entire process right entire process of code build with the help of what event bridge let's just see our architecture very simple architecture so in this process we have code commits event bridge sorry i didn't i didn't put this this is event bridge events bridge event bridge and code build all right and code build so this is what happens um from my base machine all right my base machine um all right before that before that let's have some set of rules so on event bridge we have some rules that we've created right to get triggered whenever something happens right whenever there is an event now um let's start with yeah on event bridge i've created a rule that i've created a rule that targets code commits as the source right saying that whenever there's any change from code commits whenever there's any change from code commits please send a trigger to code build right send a trigger to code build that would eventually start building right send a trigger that will trigger send another event that would trigger code build to start running right to start what running to start some activities right so this is what this rule contains on event bridge so this is a process so now once this has been set up i'll come to my base machine and I will initiate a commit. Once I initiate a commit, I initiate a push to code commit. Code commit sends a notification to event bridge that CEO, there has been some changes within me. Event bridge gets the notification, get notified by code commit and triggers a process, right? Three guys a process 
and forces an event to trigger code build to start what's running. So very that's it's, it's very simple, guys. So this is just a workflow, all right? So we won't waste much time trying to sugarcoat the entire architecture. Okay. So without further ado, let's get started. All right. So like I said, if you've not watched this video, code commit, code build, you better go and watch those videos. All right. Before we get to the stage of event bridge, let us see how we can manually all right trigger a job all right on what code build. Okay, so um, let's go to AWS. So on AWS, uh, where's my code commits? Code commit, where are you? Code commits. So um, this is my code commits repository. On my repository, I have this I have already created. And on the repository, I have these codes, right? Then similarly, on my Braze machine, I have the same set of codes, right? On, which is on my local repo this is my remote repo code commit happens to be my remote repo why i also have same code on my world local repo great all right so uh and this is my build spec the yaml this file is a file that uh code build is going to use all right to package um my code base all right all of this was explained yesterday right I was explained yesterday great so now i want to create what this process will be doing is i'm going to dockerize this code with the help of docker file with the help of docker file all right i'll dockerize this code and publish the dockerized image towards aws ecr and i have my ecr here all right so great perfect so in my code build my my build spec on yaml my my container registry name is called test app, all right? So I'll come over here and create a test app, which is my registry, public registry. So create a repository, public, call it what? Test app. That's all, guys. That's all. Create. Create. So I've just created the repository, all right? So what I want to achieve now, I want to manually trigger the build process, all right? So now I will now go towards code build i'm going to go code build and i'll come towards build project all right to create a build project right so before i automate this process i want to first of all walk us through the manual process right how it is done so let's create a project create a project a build. let me call it a test build test code build all right then a source of this my source provider is code commit there are several sources where you have your source code my source code is on what code commit so i pick it up then the repository is merchant api the reference branch is the branch i'm building from is my main branch obviously okay everything remains the same operating system i'm going to use amazon linux all right the runtime is a standard runtime i'm using then the image of that runtime let me put it out um 2.0 uh x64 okay five is taken by default 5.0 and and um, 64 bits that's okay that's okay then um the name of the role we have to create a role let's call it test code build role all right then the build spec where am i getting the build spec from i'm going to use a build spec file all right build spec file if you've used jenkins you understand this process jenkins file right yeah so they got that concept from there. So build spec file. Great. And what else? I'm not going to use any artifacts because I'm not building, I'm not saving any file. That's it. Create build projects. So the moment this build project will be created, I'm going to manually. Now it has been created. To trigger a build, I'll just come here and click on what? Start build. That's just simple. Start build. But you see this process, this process is manual. This is what we need to change with what event bridge. This is what we need to change with what event bridge, all right? So it's getting built. Let's just wait for some time, all right? There are different phases, right? Let's just wait. Mm. All right. 
So I'm having an error, error because of um, it's a permission error, all right? This error is coming because of, um, because of code build wants to authenticate to AWS ECRO. However, code build does not have the appropriate permission to what? To log in into ECR. That's why we are getting this access denied exception. So for me to give to grant access to code build on ECR, we have to go to AWS IAM. You remember why we were creating the build projects? We created a role. So we're going to search for that role. The role name is test. Uh, let me refresh this. The role name is test something. Test code build role. So here is the role. I'll click on the role. Then I'm going to add permission. The role doesn't have any permission. Okay, the only permission it, it has is um, a code build related policy, right? So I'm going to add one more permission. Attach a policy. Then the policy I'm going to add attach is um is aws elastic container registry public power user select this policy and click on what add permission so once this has been added come back to your what code build and rebuild your process right rebuild the process so this should rectify the permission error right so great so let's be patient and watch the process right so it's building and um yeah so at this point it's trying to log in it's logging in logging was succeeded logging was succeeded so now we're having a say too many requests too many requests you have reached your pull rate limit you may increase the limits by authenticating and upgrading blah 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 okay okay let's this is this is something new <laughs> let's let's see um too many requests um okay <laughs> okay this is a it's a quota this is a quota problem right this is a quota issue now go to create all right this is a quota issue Increase rate, 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 rate limits. Um, it's a quota issue. Uh, let me let me check something. Uh, let's 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 check this error. Too many requests. Copy this error. There should be something we have to do. All right. Or I can just wait for some time. Let me go to Google. All right. Let me search for that arrow. Uh, code build. Let's check this. Or I could have just wait for some time. All right. How do I avoid Docker rate limits? Uh, how do I increase Docker? Docker. So what I will say, um, let's check. Let's check. It's becoming uh, interesting too many requests too many requests uh too many requests aws code build the current limit all right aws let's check this let's check this out so we should be using CRO two limits let's check this Let's check, guys. Uh, I'm mean, getting this error. To, there was no answer. This error originated from Docker Hub. You can read more about Docker Hub. Why is it? I'm not. I'm only using Docker. You can implement several options. Use Docker Hub accounts and call Docker login before pulling the images from. This will increase the pull rates. If you're already using your Docker and still getting the error, you can upgrade. So it's like it's coming from uh, ECR. It's coming from ECR. Uh, let me refresh. All right. But I think let's check. 
nothing is in here um uh, ecr settings rate limits error is coming from ecr let me check this too many requests throttling exception get authorization token um this same something else um ecr where are you loading registry data it's taking too long cancel it's taking too long All right so let me let me rerun the the build one more time and see if this will happen again let me retry build All right retry build let's retry the build because i feel there was no time to to rerun the next build so let's just see let's see what happens because that challenge is coming from ecr which which i am very concerned okay okay all right it's like is yeah it's, it has it, it succeeded all right you can see it succeeded so it was just something uh just to refresh the um what's it called um i don't know what really happened in between but i knew that it's something that will just clear on its own all right something that, that will clear on its own so the build was succeeded so you can see this process was highly manual highly manual so i don't want to go through this manual process i want this process to be what's managed by what event bridge whenever there is an activity towards code commits how do we do that so let's set that up so i'll go to um um my dashboard and search for what amazon event bridge i'll click on event bridge all right click on event bridge then on my left hand side i'll come towards bosses all right look at this, these ids these ids all right these ids all right i'll come towards bosses and i'll click on what rules right then i will create a rule click on create rule i'll give the rule name let me call it test test code build event all right and um yeah enable the rule on the selected event boss that's it okay now there are two rule type uh rule with an event pattern and schedule so this schedule uh for instance you want to schedule this uh, code build to run at a particular time you just like a cron job right you you specify this option if you don't want that if you want it to run immediately you specify event pattern so we are we'll be going to the, the uh, aspect of what event pattern because we want this process to run immediately whenever there is an activity on code commit all right so I'll click on what next now my event source my event source is going to be aws event or event bridge partner event all right so i'll be taking this first option then um the sample event and the sample event i'll be using what event bridge partner event because i've specified that i have to use event bridge partner event so it doesn't be the same thing all right scroll to the bottom now come to what creation method now in the creation method there are three methods we have the use schema uh use pattern form and custom pattern json editor so if you use this use schema this event pattern changes all right great now use pattern form event pattern changes then custom pattern with json editor can see right so we're using the simplest one which is what use pattern form so with pattern form we can specify we can create a pattern of the style of the event now the event source is coming from aws service obviously it's aws service then the aws service we we want to target as our source because if you see from our diagram here our source is code commit so we have specified what the word event source the event source is what code commit so I'll type what code commit. I'll search for code commit. I'll select code commit. Now the event type is going to be all events. 
Now, in this year, we can say, okay, whenever there is a code commit comment on commit, it should trigger code build. Whenever there's a pull request, whenever there's a reaction change, whenever there's a pull request state change, repository state change, but I want to target all events. Any event that happens, please trigger the pipeline or trigger code build, all right? I'll say what, all events, all right? Then click on what's next. Great. Now in the target, as you can see, this is my source. This happens to be my source. Code commit is the source. Let's do something. Code commit is my source and code build is what the target, right? Now let's set the target. So target number one, target number one is AWS service, still AWS service. Now select the target service. The target service is gonna be code build. Code build projects. Now it will now ask for the code build projects ARN. All right, ARN. Now we'll go back towards code build. This is code build, right? This is code build. In this code build now, this is my code build. Met, uh, where's the code build name? The code build name is uh, is test code build. I'm going I'm going to find the ARN of the code build, and I'll come to I'll see that under what project details. In project details, I'll see what the project ARN. I'll copy it, come to my event bridge, and I'll paste the project ARN. One that once that has been pasted, now I'll come to the next stage, which says uh, execution role. Execution role. Um, I need to create a role for what, uh, which uh, event bridge we use in talking towards code build. You can see event bridge to invoke code build, all right? So yeah, we'll create that role. We don't have it, we'll create it. Then we'll click on what next. You can look at additional settings, but all of these can keep it at default. Click on what next. Now tagging, we don't need to put any tag next. We are all done, click on what create rule this rule has been created the rule name is what test code build event cb event and it's not is enabled now we can now come to tests right let's now see how we can test automated build process now come to this guy come to projects my build projects click on my build projects all right we're going to monitor this process the last build number was what? Build number three, right? So what I will do now, I will come to my base machine, all right? I will edit my local repo. Once I edit a file in my local repo, I'm going to commit it and push it, push it towards code commit. So this is what we have here. This is the flow. I'll come to my base machine. I'll make changes. Once changes has been done, I'll do a commit towards code commit. Once code commit, I, I do a code commit, uh, a, a commit to code commit because of uh, the rule I've created to monitor what uh, whatever happens on what code commit. Code commit is going to send a notification towards event bridge. Event bridge is going to check the rule uh, the rule table and see that yes, there has been what an act there's an activity currently happening on what code commit. Based on the activity, event bridge is going to send out a trigger that will trigger code build to start what running. Right, so here's the process. So let me go to my base machine. So my base machine, I'll just go and make some changes. I'll open the index.html file. Then I'm going to just make that change and I will save and quit. So git status, it shows there has been an, a change. I'll do a git add, git add, then git commit updated index.html. All right. Now let's do a git push. Git push. Put my password, passphrase, sorry. Now I have performed a commit. Let's go and monitor code build. Let's monitor code build. Let's just wait and see. Let's just watch. All right. So I want to refresh this uh, build history. Once I refresh this build history, let's see what happens. You should see build number four has been triggered. Build number four has been triggered so this is this is a catch guys right this is how you automate the process between 
code build and code commits using what? Using what? Event bridge, right? Using event bridge. That being said, guys, I want I want to bring today's session to a close because we have finally actualized what we uh, what we wanted. You can click on the build run, all right, to monitor it. So yeah, it was succeeded, successful. Everything went on successful. Build number four it was a success, all right. And if I go to my container registry, I should have I should have a second build test app. All right, there was three and there is four, right? So with this now, you can see how we have been able to automate the entire process from my local machine to code commit till when my code gets built by what code build automatically without any human intervention. However, event bridge made all of that possible, all right? That being said, I want to bring this session to a close and I hope this session has been very, very informative and see you guys in my next video. Thank you and have a wonderful week ahead. Peace out.